place. And in the tag match, you had the Truth Commission going against Flash Flanagan and Nick Densmore, but it was this guy, Tank, who was in there, Michael, and really was not one of the guys that should have been in there. Well, really, it's a technicality, Lance. You have the Truth Commission, but they consist of three people. The tag team titles is for two people. The two people that own the titles, technically, right. are Recon and Interrogator. But as you see in this match, you've got Big Tank in the match. And as you will see, uh, Densmore and, uh, and uh, Flash Flanagan get the victory here. But it will be short-lived in that uh, the wrong man, if you would, the wrong member of the team, lost the match. So therefore, the USWA's uh, commissioner, uh, Mr. Elliot Pollock, has decided to hold those tag team belts off. Here's the victory right here for Flash and for, for Nick. And of course, they think they won the titles. And quite frankly, I think they win the titles, too. I mean, they beat, quote, unquote, the Truth Commission. Yeah. I think they should be champions, but... Boy, are they happy about it, and they've got good reason to. Uh, that's good omen about this young team. And But the commissioner, you know, hey, I, I can understand him calling it that way. Um, now we move on to the U.S. heavyweight title, and this is between Billy Travis, Billy Joe taking on Brian Christopher, who is the champion going into this match, and you can see he uses not only hands, but he uses those feet pretty agilely also, Michael. And right now we see Luther Biggs on the outside, the uh, valet, if you would, of uh, Billy Joe Travis there, the referee getting knocked down, but uh, Luther Biggs gets involved here in this match, and there he is in the ring pulling a chain out of, yep. his, out of his pocket, and it's going to waylay Brian Christopher with it. Look at that. Yeah, and uh, Luther, in terms of our television coverage, gets involved uh, also a little later on. I just want to say that at a point you're going to see the camera kind of go haywire there, and that's when it was kicked. And uh, so we did have a problem with uh, being there able to right get there. It was right there when Luther came in, and he reached and grabbed Brian Christopher's leg. And the finish and a new USWA heavyweight title holder was crowned right during that time when the camera was out before they could get it running again. And we don't have it. Obviously, Brian Christopher totally unhappy. And there were a lot of fans who were there were not too happy with the outcome of that one either, Michael. And then the main event, of course, Tommy Dreamer from ECW against Jerry the King Lawler. And here's the reason that Tony uh, Friedman is not with us today. He is pile-driven into the ring right there at the big one. And now the uh, mayhem that started here at Championship Wrestling on television last week just spread to the big one, and it just got crazy and crazier. Well, if you got to see Tommy Dreamer, this is a good place to see him. Uh, we do want to tell you that uh, the commissioner levied major fine against Dreamer, and they're debating on the suspension of it. So uh, some further uh, punitive arrangement will be coming up out of the USWA. And believe me, if anybody deserved it, it absolutely was Tommy Dreamer as uh, the king in there after him. And this one just got totally out of hand, and it resulted ultimately and the match being stopped, and there was not a winner on it, Michael. Well, there's so many people in the ring right now. They're trying to hold back the king and keep these two men separated. We got barricades in the ring. You got chains in the ring. You got trash cans. You got any and everything. And the king is, you know, obviously very upset. He wants to get a dreamer. Dreamer wants to get at him. And finally, they get Tommy Dreamer out of the ring. But he did not go quietly. Let's put it that way. <laughs> You're right about that. Okay, I do want to tell.